stage 20 takes the peloton into the community of Madrid with 181 kilometers between Moral Zalzal and the Puerto de Navasarada. A tough early climb will thin out the peloton and then there's hardly any respite in the last 100 kilometers. Strap yourselves in for an explosive conclusion to this 77th welter. There are plenty of tired legs out there after three weeks of hard racing, but some riders have still got some energy left in the tank, and seven of them quickly peeled off the front. Rob Stannard was targeting the polka dot jersey that Alperson de Koenig had hoped to win with Jay Vine. He was joined by teammates Zandra Merissa, for Simon Guglielmi, Clement Champoussin, Tani Navarro, Joan Bou and Ruben Fernandez. There were plenty more attacks behind, with Gino Maida going clear for Bahrain victorious. Mark Soler was also on the move again for UAE Team Emirates, along with potential stage winners like Thibaut Pino and Richard Carapaz in the polka dot jersey. While they were hunting down the leaders, Carlos Rodriguez was starting to go backwards. The 21-year-old was in for a tough day. And with the pace high, the peloton was soon shredded down to a group of favourites, Evanapool up towards the front. Stannard was first to the summit, closing the gap on Carapaz in the mountains classification. Meanwhile, Alejandro Valverde and Vincenzo Nibali attacked from the peloton. After going solo before the summit, Soler managed to fight his way to the front of the race on the descent. This was the Spaniard's seventh breakaway of this Vuelta. He's clearly in excellent shape. He and Stannard soon pushed on together, with the rest of the breakaway drifting back to a chase group of some 25 riders containing Carapaz and Valverde. Pino, Maida and Mulberger were the next to make a move from that chase group. The trio gradually closing the gap on Soler and Stannard. Five more points for the Australian at the summit. He was now 14 behind Carapaz. The main peloton containing the top GC riders was still over five minutes back. Two soon became five up front and the Stannard group still had over a minute on the Carapaz group in the fight for polka dots. But the Ecuadorian wasn't going to give up his jersey without a fight. He soon battled his way back to the front of the race with Higuita and Valverde as a bigger group reformed. The riders approaching the penultimate climb of La Vuelta, the Puerta de la Morcuera, with some steep gradients. And Louis Mankies made the most of them to go clear with Higuita and Carapaz. There was also a bit of movement in the GC group, with Movistar setting up an attack for Enric Mas. Rodriguez was distanced once again, but Evanapool responded easily to the Spaniard's move. At the summit of the Morcuera, Carapaz mathematically wrapped up his polka dot jersey. With 18k to go, he, Higuita and Mankies still led the rest of the breakaway by 45 seconds, while the red jersey group had closed to within two minutes. It was then on to the final climb of this race, the Puerta de Cotos. Carapaz looking to shake off Higuita and Mankies, but the Colombian champion got back to his wheel. Hessink and Maida also attacked from the chase group, which was soon swallowed up by the favourites. The big guns upping the tempo, but nobody seemed capable of landing a killer blow. A few kilometres from the summit, Evanapool and Co were only 25 seconds behind the leaders, with Mankies in their sights. And that gap was down to only 10 seconds when Carapaz put in another big attack. This time, Higuita was unable to follow. The Ecuadorian reaching the summit with a small gap, but there was still over six kilometers of false flat before the finish line. Simon Aronsman was the only man who looked interested in chasing him down. The Dutchman seeking his second win of the race, Carapaz was out to complete his hat trick. Aronsman's running out of time. He's giving everything he can, but Richard Carapaz is gonna do it. Carapaz, the Ecuadorian eagle in the blue and white jersey. He won stage 12, he won stage 14. He takes the stage 20. Richard Carapaz wins at the top of the final climb of La Vuelta. Just as Mads Pedersen made it three wins in the green jersey yesterday, Carapaz makes it three wins in the polka dot jersey today. The Olympic champion matching his haul at the Giro d'Italia. Meanwhile, barring any accidents tomorrow, Evanapool has sealed his first Grand Tour victory and the first for his team boss Patrick Lefebvre in the history of Quickstep. Tomorrow he can savour his win on the road to Madrid. Carapaz taking his 17th career win by eight seconds from Aronsman, with Ayuso leading in the GC favourites. 
Evan Apool rolling home in sixth place after containing his rivals throughout the day. No changes in the top four, with Evan Apool set to win ahead of Mass, Ayuso and Lopez. Almeida and Aronsman both move up a spot, with Rodriguez slipping to seventh.